Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena Bond and I'm a dating and relationship coach for men at selenabond.com. If you'd like to work with me, I will leave a link to my website in the description box below and that will have all of my services including my social media. So please follow me on Instagram at Selena Eliz. And just to note, I am always coaching both men and women, but my, my services and my content, my audience is primarily men, but I am always open to working with women and I really enjoy it. And of course, this topic today goes for both men and women. So how to balance your look, your look in terms of fashion, kind of how you express yourself and exude your confidence and your charisma. It comes through a lot in how you carry yourself. And I find a lot of that stems back to how we actually dress ourselves in the morning. This is not something that I feel like many people focus on, but I feel it is a great way to express how you feel about yourself energetically and balance how you look. So everyone is obviously born <laughs> into the vessel that they are born into and you can kind of tweak it as you go along um, in many different ways. But what is important about your vessel is kind of understanding what feels good for you. So when we focus on how we feel this is a way for us to balance our energies. And if you've seen many of my other videos, you know that every single human being on this planet has a balance of both masculine and feminine energies within them. Now, what I see with a lot of the clients that I work with is that most of the women that I work with are more in their masculine energy and they can't understand why they are pushing men away, why they are attracting a feminine men, etc. And of course, it's the reverse. Um, I don't want to say all of my male clients, obviously, but a lot of them are a, more focused in their feminine energy right now. That is not to say that's their own fault. Right now we are seeing a shift in society where there are more um, effeminate men. There has been a feminization of men and a masculinization of women. And I talk about this in many of my other videos. Um, it is a societal construct. Um, part of the masculine energy within women is in part due to feminism and the toxic masculinity that society talks about is in due part to the feminization of men. So I talk about that a lot of my socials as well. And this does influence the way we dress, the way we show up in our energies and how we feel about ourselves. And I'm finding more and more the men that come to me to work with me I mean, I start from the foundation. They'll come to me with maybe just one kind of issue, but there's usually a bigger thing at hand. And I find it always comes down to energies and to exude more masculine energy, understanding your fashion choice and how that balances and ties in with your energy is super important. So to give you a little bit of background about myself, just to kind of show you where I mean, I don't want to call them credentials because everyone has their own viewpoints on this. Obviously, if you want to dress however you want to dress, go for it. Um, but if you're feeling a little bit like you want a little bit of a tune up or to feel a little bit more confident in who you are and really match that with the work that you're doing on yourself with your energies, this is going to be really important and cool for you to watch. So my background is um, I have been modeling on and off since I was 13. I also have a background in theater. I went to a school for the arts for theater. So I've always studied acting, um, characters, and really observing the polarity within humans in what makes us so interesting and how that is the basis of attraction. And that is what I do a lot in my work is in helping people understand their own energies and how to communicate it, you are building the attraction and chemistry into your words, into your conversations, into your embodiment. So everyone wants that instead of the other flip side, which is <clears throat> I'm seeing a lot more coaches talk about kind of blankets. They're not even tools. It's just like blanket information that anyone can apply. And I almost want to kind of compare that to when you go to a private school or schools that just have all of the same uniform, it's just this one size fits all and people can kind of tweak it how it suits them, but I feel like it's very generic. 
Um, and especially in this day and age when society is telling us that fluidity and equality is normal, I am trying to share with people that it's not normal. We have our own specific kind of energy balances and to dress and be within that kind of paradigm is what's gonna make you feel confident, less anxious, less confused, less lost. So many people are trying to discover and find themselves and I find you really can do this, do this through your fashion and matching that up with your energy balance. For example, when I was in modeling back in the day, I have a very kind of commercial, that's what they call it, face um, by societal standards, but I have a very tall, slim, long body, which is more editorial. So my agencies were always trying to either make me more edgy and androgynous or make me more kind of commercial and pretty. Now, what is interesting about humans is when you are given your vessel that you are born into, if you are born into just a very pretty vessel, it's more interesting for your fashion to mix it with a little bit of androgyny and edge. So for myself, that's kind of what I do. I don't typically in my fashion choices, how I've evolved over the years and understanding of energies, I don't pick things that are too feminine and pretty because I feel that way in my essence and in my energy, I feel more feminine. Um, and my appearance is quite feminine, but I want to dress a little bit more androgynous because I find it balances out my look. And for me, that's what makes me feel most confident. So for example, when I work with some um, men, I know that there's, there's a lot of men that are in finance and a lot of them will go straight from work into a day and they're still wearing their suit and it keeps them in that kind of stiff work mentality, which is very um, masculine in itself, where you're kind of leading, you're taking charge of the day, taking charge of the office, which is great, but to balance that out, I would probably put them in something a little bit more sporty or something a little bit more editorial, street style, just to balance out what they do every day and in that mindset and um, energy that they are in. So this isn't to say if you're really masculine at work that you should dress more feminine, but I just mean balancing out kind of your vibe and energy of the day. If someone is traditionally a man looking a little bit more effeminate, maybe they are a little bit more, I'm just gonna use really generic terms here so you understand the context of this character. Um, especially in acting, you have to see like a brief, you know, this person's a bit nerdy, works in, computer tech, wears glasses, for example, like this is your brief, this is the character to kind of understand him and his background. So that's what I'm giving you now. And if he's a little bit more nerdy, you can also kind of play that up. So if he wears glasses, like get some fashionable uh, glasses, they can have, you know, whether it's like a thick black rim, like really emphasize what he already has rather than trying to hide it away or wear contacts. You can play up the features that you already have, which for myself, I tend to play up my long legs. Um, and that's something that I feel comfortable in doing, but I do it in a way that makes me feel edgy and still street style cool. Usually I wear sneakers or boots instead of wearing heels, which I don't technically need at my height. So that's me bal balancing my ratios to feel comfortable within my body and in my energy. So I can still feel like a feminine woman, but balance it out so it's like not too much or not enough. And that is what I help my clients with too. I can kind of assess, especially when I am revamping online dating profiles, where your style is at, with your lifestyle, with your job, so that you have a fashion that feels like you, but doesn't look too generic or too done. Because I'm seeing a lot of coaches are saying, get a black t-shirt, get black jeans, you know, one piece of jewelry, your hair like this. And it's all the same, it's quite generic. And I don't feel like, I think that's just a, a quick solution rather than actually understanding the person's lifestyle, who they are, what they feel most comfortable in, and then making a style that looks effortless. That is the thing with fashion. It's like you can put a million things on and then before you run out the door, just take one or two things off and then it just looks a little bit more chill, relaxed, and not like you overthought it. And for women, I say to do the same thing with your beauty, balance it out with your hair, um, it's all about polarity 
in my work with energies and so the same principles that we are talking about with balancing a look and using polarities to kind of do the opposite to feel more um, surprising in a way can also be said with the textures that you are wearing with the combinations for example this top that I'm wearing today is really kind of like a soft terry cloth <laughs> kind of thing and what's been really fashionable and trendy is having a set so you can wear this with like a matching soft shorts or pants so it's the same tone on tone but it's also fun to mix up textures so if you're wearing something that's soft like this to wear it with a little leather jacket and if this crop is kind of short then the jacket can be a little bit longer so if this is say like a crop top then you can have a longer jacket so it's all about balancing the textures the layers um, the lengths of everything that you wear so for example if you are a guy and you wanted to wear jeans and then have kind of a sturdier jacket over top then you can wear a little bit of a lighter softer more casual t-shirt underneath but with a really structured oversized blazer jacket, um, something like that, so that you are kind of balancing the different um, textures, the different thickness and feelings of the fabrics that are layered over top of each other, so it looks effortless and cool. The same can um, be said as well for interior design, which I'm really enjoying reading and watching more about. It's all about the different fabrics and mixing the fabrics with the textures of tiles or the natural wood, plants. So the same thing you can do with your fashion, your beauty, um, even the, with the color coordinations, you know, with your hair, your skin tone, your fashion choices. All of these things, you can do all of them or you can do none of them. I'm just sharing this as a different viewpoint in this video because I thought it was really interesting and I'm finding a lot more people are revamping online dating profiles, especially after divorces and breakups. So it's kind of cool to have a fresh new view on fashion, how you feel about yourself, how you show up in the world. And you can always do more is more or you can do less is less, whatever feels fine for you. But I always find that when you get that balance and that sweet spot in the middle, when you understand how different things go together and what makes you feel best, it's so much more exciting to wake up in the morning and then you know, you're like, okay, if I wear this top, then I can balance it with this jacket. Or I could, if I really want to focus, I really want to wear these boots today or these shoes, then I'm going to build my outfit, how I feel around that. So the same can actually be said for your beauty as well, and you're just kind of balancing your look. And this is what polarity is. It's you always have a masculine and a feminine energy. You have a north and south pole. So if you look a certain way, you can balance it with what the opposite is. And this is what makes human beings look and seem more interesting. It's like they have this quality where you're like, oh, that was kind of surprising or that's kind of cool. And it just... It, it, it sparks, I believe, a little bit more attraction and intrigue than just a generic outfit. It makes you carry yourself a different way when you're wearing something that reflects how you feel inside and how your energy balance shows up. So let me know if you'd like to see some examples of this. I'm thinking of doing a few on my TikTok and showing some different character profiles and what maybe how I would tweak their fashion, etc. Of course, if you work with me as a client, I can always go over all of your um, fashion or photos online that you, you use for online dating and we can tweak a few things to really make you feel comfortable, confident and actually expressing how you feel, which is going to be the most attractive thing to um, people that you are meeting. So let me know if you have any questions on this topic below. It was kind of a lot of backstory to talk about and cover, but I've really learned, especially in my journey with modeling and feeling comfortable in my body, what works best for me. And just because, you know, someone wants to put you into a box to say this is where you're going to perform well or um, this is the trends right now. It's important to stay in tune kind of with trends in a way so you're not looking super dated but at the same time I never felt really comfortable with how my modeling agencies were trying to push me because I always felt that it wasn't true to me what my style was and how I was feeling and I remember feeling so confused um, when they wanted me to be super androgynous because it did make me kind of question my own energy balance and how I feel as 
a young woman. So especially with everything that's coming out in society today, with the gender fluidity and a lot of teens being very confused on what they identify with, I think it's very important to empower people with understanding what their energy is and how they can communicate this through their fashion so they feel super confident um, in themselves and in their words on dates. I think that's gonna be really important for the future generations. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in another video.